so good morning dear students uh, today we are going to start exercise 14b so you can uh, you all can take out page number 234 we are going to start exercise 14b question number one's number one you can see here you need to find the area of the shaded portion in each case for number one also and for number two also so for finding the area of the shaded portion what we can do we can find the area of the larger square whose side is 8 meter so you can find or you can write like this for larger square side is equal to 8 meter therefore you will write area is equal to side into side which is equal to 8 meter into 8 meter 8 into 8 is 64 meter square similarly you can find the area of the smaller square which is inside it ok so for smaller square side is 4 meter therefore area is equal to side into side which is equal to 4 meter into 4 meter 4 into 4 is 16 meter into meter is meter square so therefore you can write from the larger square you can subtract the smaller square after subtracting the smaller square you will have you will be left with the area which is shaded therefore you will write area of the shaded portion is equal to so here 14 minus 6 will be 8 5 minus 1 will be so 48 meter square will be your answer i hope it is clear number 2 is very similar to it okay here it was a square in number 2 it is a rectangle okay so the figure looks like this inside it one rectangle is there this is 24 meter here it is eighteen meter and here twenty two meter this is the shaded portion so here in place of rectangle uh, square we here we have rectangle okay so you will write you will do same as number one for larger so rectangle length L is equal to 24 meter breadth B is equal to 20 meter so area will be equal to length into breadth so 24 meter into 20 meter will give you 480 meter square 24 into 2 is 48 and 1 0 is there so 480 then we have smaller square for, for smaller rectangle sorry length is 22 meter breadth is 18 meter area will be equal to length into breadth so 22 meter into 18 meter you will multiply it it will give you 396 meter square therefore to find the area of the shaded portion you can subtract from the larger rectangle the area of the smaller one the part which will be left will be the area of the shaded portion therefore area of the shaded portion is equal to 480 meter square minus 396 meter square and then it will be 884 meter square will be your answer i hope it is clear to you all of you let's move to number two then question number two this exercise deals with the same thing okay just we have to find either the area of the border or area of the frame like that a photograph of size this 35 meter centimeter by 22 centimeter on is mounted onto a frame <coughs> 
whose external uh, dimensions are this and this find the area of the border surrounding the photograph so the question says like this suppose this is a suppose this is a photograph dimension of which are given as 35 cm by 22 cm this photograph is fixed onto a frame whose external dimensions are given okay whose external dimension are 45 cm by 30 cm you need to find the area of the border so that means basically you need to find this portion okay as we did in number one number two okay you will first find the area of the larger rectangle and then smaller rectangle you will subtract it you will get the area of the border okay surrounding the photograph so you will write for larger here you won't write larger rectangle or smaller rectangle because here it is a photograph and photograph with border so for photograph with frame so for photo photograph with frame length will be equal to 45 cm breadth will be equal to 30 cm therefore area will be equal to length into breadth that is 45 cm into 30 cm 45 into 3 will be 135 and 0 cm into centimeter centimeter square then comes for photograph for photograph length is equal to 35 cm breadth is equal to 22 cm therefore area will be equal to length into breadth so 35 into 22 cm length into breadth will give you the area so 35 into 22 10 carry 1 9 uh, 6 and 1 7 and again 7 so it will give you 770 cm square isn't it now after subtracting you will get the area of the border therefore area of the border is equal to 1350 minus 770 cm square so 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 7 is not possible 15 minus 7 is 8 2 minus 7 is not possible 12 minus 7 is 5 so it will give you 580 centimeter square i hope it is clear to all of you okay <coughs> then number 3 is also seen you can let's see the question uh, Varenda 1.5 meter wide is constructed all along the outside of a room whose length is 5.5 meter long and 4 meter wide. What is the cost of cementing the floor of this veranda at the rate of rupees 15 per square meter? So first of all, suppose this is the room. So the room's dimension is given as 5.5 meter and here 4 meter outside this room a veranda is constructed okay on all the sides so suppose this is the outside of the room where the veranda is constructed okay so this portion is the Varanda 
okay and you need to find the cost of cementing the floor of this veranda so first of all you will find the area of the floor of the veranda okay so again here you have two rectangles one is the larger one which includes the room and the veranda and the smaller rectangle which includes the floor of the room only okay so for room for room we have length as 5.5 meter breadth as 4 meter so area will be equal to length into breadth which will be equal to 5.5 meter into 4 meter 5 into 4 is 20 carry to 5 into 4 is 20 20 into 22 meter square so after decimal one place was there so 22.0 meter square now for room for veranda including room okay for veranda including room length becomes what from here to here it is 5.5 meter and this side it is 25 1.25 centimeter wide it is given so it is 1.25 again it is 1.25 again it is 1.25 1.25 so length will be 5.5 meter plus from here to here 1.25 and here to here 1.25 5.5 meter it will be 2.5 meter because 1.5 1.25 1.25 will give you 2.5 so after adding you will get 8.0 meter which is equal to 8 meter same comes breadth breadth from here to here it is 4 meter and from here to here it is 1.25 and from 1.25 so total length will be 4 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 5. So 4 meter plus 1.25 plus 1.25 meter plus 2.5 meter which gives 6.5 meter. Okay. I'm going to rub the figure now because I'm running lack of space. So area of veranda including room will be again length into breadth length we got as 8 meter breadth we got as 6.5 meter 8 into 5 is 40 carry 4 8 6 is 48 48 and 4 is 52 52.0 meter that is 52 meter square now after subtracting this area and this area which the area of the so room and the area of the veranda including the room we will be left only in the area of the Varanda. Okay, therefore, area of the varanda will be equal to 52 meter square minus 22 meter square that is 30 meter square. So now you are not supposed to find the area of the floor, you are supposed to find the cost of cementing the area of the floor of the varanda. So now we have the total area of the floor of the varanda. So now we can write cost of cementing 1 meter square is equal to rupees 15 therefore cost of cementing how much the total area of the floor of one is 30 meter square so rupees 15 into 30 rupees 450 will be the total cost of cementing the floor of the varanda i hope it is clear to all of you let's proceed with Question number four then. So question number four says a sheet of paper measure <clears throat> a sheet of paper measures thirty centimeter by twenty centimeter. A strip four meter wide is cut from all it around from it all around. Find the area of the remaining sheet of as well as the area of the strip cut out. So suppose this is paper. If you have to paper or paper, you can cut it. So, you can cut it. You can Paper or length to cut it after cutting. So, when you will cut the strip, 
द पेपर्स लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ विल बिकम शॉर्टर नट बिगर सो जैसे कि लास्ट क्वेश्चन तुम लोग वन पॉइंट टू फाइव वन पॉइंट टू फाइव प्लास कर सीन्स रूम बाहर वारेन्डार तो कन्स्ट्रक्ट हो सो लेंथ तो बाढ़ गल इन दैट केस इतना लेंथ तो कमी जा बिकज तुम पेपर पर कटि दिबा ओके पेपर उल बिकम शर्टर इन लेंथ एंड एगेन शर्टर इन ब्रेथ अल्सो सो कैसे जो तुम लोग फोर सेन्टिमिटार वाइड एट स्प्राइब कट कर ओके फोर सो आफ्टर कटिंग द पेपर उल बिकम दिस मच ओके अर्लियर द लेंथ वॉज थर्टी सेन्टिमिटार बै ट्वेंटी सेन्टिमिटार सो यू यू आर नाउ आक्स टू फाइन यू आर नाउ आक्स टू फाइन द एरिया अफ द रिमेनिंग शीट दैट मीन्स ए टू रिमेनिंग शीट ओके रिमेनिंग शीट इज दिस वन एंड एरिया ऑफ द स्ट्राइप मैं ए टू एरिया सो फॉर पेपर फर्स्ट यू उल फाइन द एरिया ऑफ द ओरिजिनल पेपर सो फॉर पेपर लेंथ इज थर्टी सेन्टीमिटार ब्रेथ इज ट्वेंटी सेन्टीमिटार पेपर एरिया इज इक्वल टू लेंथ इन टू ब्रेथ दैट इज थर्टी सेन्टीमिटार इन टू ट्वेंटी सेन्टीमिटार थ्री इंटू टू इज सिक्स डबल जिरो सेन्टीमिटार स्कोर सो फॉर पेपर एक्सक्लूडिंग द स्ट्रिप ये स्ट्रिप तो बद दिल पेपर लेंथ कि थार्टी फोर गुस फोर गुस सो सो लेंथ उल बी थार्टी सेन्टीमिटार माइनास फोर फोर प्लस फोर सेन्टीमिटार उच उल बी इक्वल टू थार्टी सेन्टीमिटार माइनास एट सेन्टीमिटार दैट इज ट्वेंटी टू सेन्टीमिटार सेम उल बी ब्रेथ टोटल फ्रम ट्वेंटी सेन्टीमिटार दिस फोर यू आर गोईंग टू रेड्यूज एंड दिस फोर यू आर गोईंग टू रेड्यूज सो माइनास फोर प्लस फोर सेन्टीमिटार उच गिव यू ट्वेंटी माइनास एट सेन्टीमिटार उच इज इक्वल टू टुएल्व सेन्टीमिटार therefore area will be length into breadth and that is 22 cm into 12 cm 22 into 12 22 into 4422 so it will be 262 cm square now this is the area of the remaining paper remaining area, therefore area of remaining paper area of remaining paper will be equal to 262 cm square okay then you are asked to find the area of the stripe cut out therefore area of the stripe cut out is equal to 600 cm square minus 266 from the total area of the paper you will subtract the remaining area of the paper so 0 10 minus 2 is 8 9 minus 6 is 3 5 minus 2 is 3 cm square i hope it is clear to all of you let's move to question number 5 so question number 5 there is a cross road along the they uh, they the find the area of the cross road at the right angles to each other through the center of a field so there is a field and at the center of the field there is a, there are two roads which cross each other perpendicularly okay this is road this is a road and this is again a road the length of the field is 75 meter the breadth of the field is 62 meter and length this cross road or breadth to ki mana se the the breadth of the cross roads is 2 meter each so from here to here it is 2 meter then again here also 2 meter here also 2 meter here also 2 meter got it i guess so tumaloge a2 road or area to ulaba we'll first find the area of this road which is parallel to the length this is the length of the field and this road is parallel to the length so you will write like this for road 
parallel to the length its length will be this one isn't it so length will be 75 meter and breadth will be this only this will be the breadth so breadth is 2 meter therefore area will be equal to length into breadth that is 75 meter into 2 meter 75 into 2 is 150 meter square again there is one more road which is which goes along the breadth like this breadth road is breadth road logo is i parallel to the breadth so for road parallel to the breadth now this will be this much meter long so length will be 62 meter breadth will be same from here to here it is whole him on 2 meter so 2 meter therefore area of this road will be equal to length into breadth that is 62 meter into 2 meter 124 meter square now you have the area of this road okay and you have the area of this road also so you can see a2 area into as a a2 road to evaluation to maluke aru a2 road re jete area to calculate korisa again a2 square to maluke calculation ta hi hoyse so a2 ta just add kori dile tomalukor a2 portion or area dubar ahi jabe isn't it suppose it is it is overlapping over each other for the road it is parallel to the length and for the road parallel to the breadth this area this area is calculated twice one for the this road and once again for this road also so you are going to subtract that area so this area is called the cross section which will be a square so area of cross section will be equal to side into side this is 2 meter this is again 2 meter so 2 meter into 2 meter 2 into 2 is 4 4 meter square so area of the this is called cross section okay i have written cross section and these are the cross road will be 150 meter square plus area of the second road 124 meter square minus area of the cross section so it will be 270 meter square i hope it is clear number question number 6 you can see there are two rectangles you can find the area of the larger rectangle and you can find the area of the smaller rectangle okay and after subtracting you can get the area of the shaded portion just as before we have done this i'm going to explain you a bit and you will be doing it by yourself it is like this from here to here it is 2 meter again from here to here it is 2 meter from here to here it is 5.4 meter Fifteen meter, nineteen point six meter, and so on. So for larger rectangle, length is this, breadth is this. You can find length into breadth, and you will get the area. For this smaller rectangle, from this total nineteen point six, you will subtract this the five point four. Okay. The idea is, if you have given the length to three to power, so it will be. Fourteen point two meter, and breadth will from here to here will be the breadth. So for breadth, this is total fifteen. From fifteen, subtract this two and two. So fifteen minus two minus two means four. Okay, so it will be eleven meter. Like this, you will find the area of the smaller rectangle, and you will get the area of the shaded portion. I hope it is clear. In the next class, we will complete this exercise, and we will start with area of parallelogram. So. Thank you everyone see you in the next class